Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Pastor Shea, a.k.a. Chaplain G, coming back at y'all with another word of encouragement for today. So, y'all, uh, I'm sure some of y'all are aware we're living in a crazy world right now. And uh, I've been having a lot of conversations with people that have been noticing uh, there just there feels like there's like a rise of like evil in the world. Um, definitely different than at least from my generation, what we've experienced in the past. Um, but for people, not even necessarily a faith, they're like, man, yeah, something's just, something just feels off. And, um, man, it's been, like I said, that's been a topic of a lot of conversations I've had recently. And if you have noticed that like the world is just weird and you're not sure, like, like what's going on, trying to figure this thing out, trying to figure out like, what would the Bible have to say about something like that? I want to bring y'all this word of encouragement that speaks to it a little bit. Um, just to kind of, it, it helped me as I was reading it this morning, I'm like, Oh yeah. Like, of course the world is like this. The Bible said it was going to be that way. So check this out. This comes from second Timothy chapter three. Uh, I'm gonna read from verse, uh, one all the way down to verse seven. Please take this as a word of encouragement, man, that, um, though things may be crazy right now, they're not always going to be that way, man. Um, God has his, uh, his eyes set on the things that are happening. Nothing is taking him off guard. And, uh, and one day he promised that he would come back and put it all right. But for right now, the world we're living in is exactly the way God describes it. Let me show you how he describes it right here in second Timothy chapter three it says, but understand this, that in the last days, there will come times of difficulty for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness, but denying its power. Avoid such people, for among them are those who creep into households and capture weak women, burdened with sins and led astray by various passions. Always learning and never able to arrive at a knowledge of the truth. So <laughs> it says in these last days, there's going to be people that it's just going to feel like the world is messed up, man. Like, and it's all this stuff. Like as I was going through the list right now, I'm thinking of stuff like, I'm like, Oh yeah, we're living in this type of world. And I think the one that hits home the most is always learning, but never able to arrive at a knowledge of the truth. We live in a world right now that even denies that there's an actual truth as if true is just one among many truths like that at a certain point that's just that just it's not relatively i mean it's not it's relativity it's it's not like actual that's not how life works gravity is gravity <clears throat> air is air matter is matter uh you can't have <laughs> different truths on these things right um and I think the reason why it's so dangerous, man, is because we, we have all these competing worldviews and stuff like that, but none of them seem to be getting us toward, okay, what is true? What is right? And I was thinking about that. Um, Jesus says, man, I, I am the way. I am the truth. I'm the life. So you have all this knowledge. You have you have all these things that you're learning, but you're not able to arrive at a knowledge of truth because you're not pursuing me. That is my that's my encouragement for you, man. Uh, in these last days, there's going to be difficulty, but pursue Christ. He's the truth, man. This world is going to get worse. If, if you're if you heard me read this list and you're like, I don't see these things. Man, they are increasing. If if you're in a space where you haven't felt like evil rise, man, I envy you. I, I, I see it on a daily basis. And uh, what my prayer is, what my prayer is for all of you, um, what I'm hoping you'll join me in in prayer, 
is that um, not like I'm hoping Jesus keeps his promises that he's going to undo evil. But, man, I'm putting my full confidence in it with that kind of uh, blessed assurance, that kind of hope, the thing I'm relying on for the future. Jesus said, I'm going to come back and I'm going to undo all this stuff. The, the, how wicked the world is right now, it won't always be that way. That's what I'm that's what I'm putting my hope in on this morning. So it's Monday. Hopefully that starts your week off. OK, man. Yeah, the world is messy, <clears throat> but Jesus is going to make it better. So I hope that's a word of encouragement for you. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. It's free to y'all, but it means a lot over here uh, as not only trying to encourage folks in my immediate context, man, but, but beyond. So continue to share these things. Continue to hit me up in my email, man, so I can be praying for y'all. I, I love y'all. I hope y'all doing well wherever you are watching this. And yo, until next time, grace and peace.